here guys and welcome to Petrol Pet. It is very early on a Saturday morning and I'm in the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio on my way to Donington Park because yep, today I finally get to drive the Ford KA that we're going to be racing in the Enduro Car Series this year and I cannot wait. So it's a long drive. I reckon it's three hours before we get to Donington Park. We're just keeping our fingers crossed the weather's going to be nice. So we are about 100 miles into my journey to Donington and I had to stop for coffee. And the staple diet on any long journey from one of these motorway service station things, uh, bacon and cheese turnover. Just hopefully it won't spill too many crumbs. Um, this car is absolutely for the RCA biblical. There is no other way to describe this car. It is just, just phenomenal, however. Uh, so far, I'm averaging about 17 miles to the gallon, um, which uh, is kind of to be expected because I'm driving it rather quickly. But uh, we've got uh, 88 miles to go to Donington Park, and the weather's not too bad. It's going to be very wet today, and one of my one of the things about Donington Park is is very close to what was called East Midlands Airport. I think I can't remember what it's called now, um, but it's on the flight path of the jets, and, and you get quite a lot of um, jet fuel coming out the back and settling on the circuit. So when it rains at Donington Park, it is super slippy. So today is all about uh, myself and Francois, who was one of the guys who built the car with Alex. Uh, who runs Peak Performance Reviews <laughs> and it was his idea, he got me into this. So we haven't driven the car yet, um, so we need to get used to the car and then also we need to do things like practice driver changes, have a chat about what our tactics are going to be in terms of stint length and just get, get used to the car. Uh, and unfortunately it is looking like it's going to be wet all day, but that's always good because then if it rains on race day, can't get any worse than it being wet. So. Um, yeah, let's get cracking, 88 miles, get some coffee inside me, wake up a little bit more, eat my uh, bacon and cheese turnover. Next stop, Donington Park. <laughs> we are very nearly here. In fact, <clears throat> we're just a few hundred yards away. Here we go. Back at Donington Park. It seems like only yesterday I was here racing the Clio. Today we're in a very, very different type of car. We are in a Ford KA, getting ready for the Enduro Car Championship race, the first round of which will be here at Donington Park. I'm super pumped for it. So let's go and find Alex and the guys from Team Peak Performance Reviews. Oh God, this car sounds good. And uh, I should just be in time for the driver's briefing. This is very cool. signed on, done my driver's briefing and done some sighting lap in the little blue KA. That feels brilliant. Even it's mega windy today. We've even got all the garage doors closed down just to try and stop the wind blowing through. Uh, that car on the way is awesome. Well, let's go into the garage and uh, Alex has just taken the car out for its first kind of few warm laps, trying to get it sort of uh, a good feel for it, make sure, shake it down, make sure everything's okay. And in here, now get the lights sorted out, is Team Peak Performance Reviews. Francois down there, who's going to be my... Francois, come and say hello to the masses. This is my teammate, Francois. Right. So me, him and Alex are going to be three weeks, mate. Yeah, we I know. I know. Weeks. We've still got a bit to do on the car as well, but, <laughs> but we'll get there. So this guy and Alex have built the car, basically. Hero. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. That's what we do. And it's your first race. It's my first race. It's my first time around Donny. It's my first ever team, really. Really? It'll be awesome. awesome. And then uh, all the girls over there, and uh, yeah, it should be a really, really good day. So let's try and get some footage of uh, Alex giving it the beans. Let's go. I can see he was trying to go for that McLaren then, but. Alright, it's 
stock engine, just a roll cage, racing suspension, everything else is standard. But it felt really nice um, on the, just the, the basic sighting lap, so I can't wait to get behind it. But this formula is all about, it's basically all about smooth driving, you use a little bit of speed through a corner or miss a gear. As you, you're stuffed, you're going to take probably three or four or five laps to catch your space back up again. So it just rewards accurate smooth driving. Can't wait to get Okay, so we are about to take my first run out in the little uh, Ford KA, nicknamed the Blue Butte. Um, Francois and Alex have been out. Uh, it's still dry, so uh, hopefully if we all get a dry session, that's great. But I think we probably, if we don't get any rain today, it'll be very, very unusual. But yeah, there's just been a stoppage on track because someone just dropped the gearbox, basically. So hopefully I'll be out very shortly. And uh, yeah, can't wait. I've, I've just driven it on the warm-up or the sighting lap. Felt brilliant. Can't wait to give it some stick. Bring it on. Come on. Okay, guys. Now we go for our first track session in the little Ford KA. Still a few little bits to finish off on the car. The, the harness isn't quite right. But here we go. Entering a busy track in a full cap. Pulling the tyres up. Now clearly there's a lot of faster cars out here today. to go out, put a GoPro in, let me take a guided tour around the Blue Butte. Yeah. What a cracker. And we've got to take a lot as well, so there's my time to can zoom in there, look. Uh, can I get that without a reflection? Look at that. So constantly sort of 145, so I'm quite chuffed with that, because yeah, just had a full tank of fuel, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, similar, similar to the last, last round. You yeah, I was what, 144.5 five last time, but times. tank of fuel. Yeah, yeah, we're happy with that. I think, um, yeah, it's been a few between three and five, is the times that are really quite yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, good signs that I think we can all go really quick. Cool. And then it, just inter internally, you've got basically a basic KA, but it's got a full yeah, roll cage. It's a stripped KA. Basically, pretty much any um, factory kind of items are out of it. There's still a little bit of sound editing in. Um, minimum weight of 950, that includes the driver. And then you can choose what kind of FIA regulated seat you want. And um, but a nice um, safety device is bolt and cage, but then you also have the bell below a bit onto it. Yep. But it's quite a, um, a substantial cage and uh, cool. some fire suppression, which we've yeah, still yeah. got a few things that need to be finished off. But um, uh, yeah, a few other control parts like body bushes, um, race pads, Vintex, um, and a set of Bilstein race suspension. All that, and all the rest is all controlled. But, Rock yeah, and roll. Rock times. and roll. So, yes, yeah, so that's me two sessions in. I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. It's a very tricky little car to drive. It. It's stable but it's got so little power it's about 65 70 horsepower tops it's completely standard engine so if you um brake too hard or you lift off in the wrong place or you go the wrong line or if you miss a gear or if a car gets in the way because there's some very quick cars on track here today so you kind of have to get out there where you've got max coats who very nearly won the uh, the clio cup championship last year absolutely flying around um, but yeah, so you do that and it compromises your whole lap. And here at Donington, when you get to the bottom of the crane of curves, the old hairpin from there, you've got an uphill drag. And if you compromise any speed through the old hairpin or have any problems there, you're basically stuck. Yeah, it's great.
great fun to Alex going to get back out. Um, well, obviously, hopefully I'll get another chance in the car. We're running till five o'clock. Cannot believe it's still dry, but huge amounts of fun today. That was right. Don't we one of the things that endurance racing is you need to do driver change. So, we're going to practice one. Um, uh, basically, Francois out. Alex is going to come in. Uh, sorry, Francois is going to come in. Alex is going to do a change. He's going to see, basically see how tricky it is, how quickly you can do it. With the race, maybe have to do the same time, but... Very good! Woo! 26 seconds, come on! Okay! Wind is up! Aerodynamic mode!
Well, there we go. End of a good day in the race car. Very, very good. So the guys are all packing up. I'll get Francois. Come over here. Come over here, team boy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. What a day. What brilliant a day. Yeah, it's Cars brilliant. brilliantly. Unbelievable. Dry, cool. dry, dry sweat. We've had, that's really good. We've both had all our sessions in the wet. All yes. our sessions in the dry. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we, really know good. we know what to expect in pretty, yep. pretty much any event. Yeah. 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 So yeah. In the wet. Yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant. Unbelievable. You've got to be really kind of... Just gently. Gentle, yeah, but that's so it. So say softly, 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 softly. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But that's it's, it. it's, yeah, it's been a treat and it's not missed a heartbeat as well. Yeah. It's not. It's stayed together, obviously, it's testament to yeah. us putting it together. It and, is. Uh, yeah, we're all And we're, we're back in here in about three weeks' time. Three weeks' time. Come on! Nice. Awesome. <laughs> right, I'm going to draw that video to a close. Don't forget, awesome. Like and subscribe to this boy's channel, but tune in. Uh, what is it? Uh, six, isn't it? Sixth of April. Sixth of April here at Donington Park for five hours, the first round of the Enduro Cap Championship. With this one. Huge thanks as well to the support crew over there. <laughs> Fantastic job. We're just, so Alex has got to drive this car back over now. That's how. That's how durable these are. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Bed for plenty more content to come. Stay tuned to see how we get on in this car in three weeks' time for the five hours endurance race here at Donington Park. But I'll see you on that one, guys. You take care. Drive safe.